Back here to Portland, there's a new way to track the homeless crisis across the city. The Impact Reduction Program, launching a new map this week showing exactly where encampments are reported and where encampments are removed. Brandon Thompson going to those area today. Brandon, the map shows the work that really still needs to be done, doesn't it? Yeah, you could see that map and the work that needs to be done, Jeff, by the number of reports, and there have been thousands over just the last couple of months. The impact reduction program used to just post a list of the number of reports, assessments, and cleanups, but this gives a step-by-step -step look at the process from the initial report from when the city assesses a camp to how the city assesses a camp, and then if a camp is cited for removal, and finally, if a camp is cleared. Mapping out the issue. You can see the areas Powell, 92nd and Powell, 82nd and Powell, a lot of division. Hopefully is a step towards solving it. And I'm looking to see how it kind of evolves over the next couple of years or uh, next six months when we have more data to see kind of the, the patterns mm -hmm. that exist. Whether on the map or in the neighborhood, Abigail Smock says in certain areas, a pattern is clear. A lot of postings and then removals, postings and removals, so you could see that kind of cycle. The city launching this data dashboard, mapping out campsites in the city. The data goes back to July, showing when and where a campsite has been reported, the assessment from the city's impact reduction team, if an encampment has been cited for removal, and if it's been cleaned up. Only camps deemed high risk are removed, scored for the size, blocking public or ADA access, the presence of drug paraphernalia or crime, and impacting the environment and livability. The IRP is required to post a removal notice three to ten days before cleanup and a spokesperson tells me outreach workers try to connect people with services during that window. We don't have the capability of helping people that are so badly in need and we have so many of them. If a campsite returns within 10 days, the city spokesperson says it will be cleaned up. If it's longer than that, they will cite it again. But the cycle itself is a sign to Abigail that more solutions are needed. Now we have kind of public records of um, kind of encampments being uh, logged and then, you know, being cleared. That's really great. Let's see progress. And what that progress would look like is, of course, not a return to encampment. So those individuals can find, again, affordable housing. So again, that map has data that goes back to July, and in that time, there have been over 100,000 reports, and some of those are duplicates. In that same time, 1,700 camps have been cleaned. Reporting live in downtown Portland, Brandon Thompson, Coin 6 News.